How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal, and welcome to another banner reaction. No idea what game to even guess at this point, so, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Alright, new heroes, let's fucking go. What is this? Oh, is this Engage? Wait, Fallen characters? Oh, Illusion! Oh, nice, it's Rosado! Oscar's beauty is out of this world! Hell Literally. yeah! I hope my drawings will capture that. All right, let's see what we got. Adoration, Wyvern Rift. Okay, all right. Cuts damage from foes' initial attacks and hinders fall attacks too. Covers after taking many hits. What? Okay, we're gonna have to read that later. Over there is Rosado here to embarrass rearm Robin. Um, okay, all right. Nice, Kagetsu, the Onigiri it's Samurai. Not chance that you and I have met. Will you go out with me so oh. we can strengthen our bond? Hell yeah, I definitely would. Okay, all right, actually, no follow-up three. Wait, is is he the demo? Wait, no follow three in the Rest demo in pool? Holy shit. That's actually kind of insane. Okay, a new rearm unit. Is it going to be Hortensia or Ivy? Let's see. It's Hortensia. Okay. Oh, staff, 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 staff. Okay, that's actually pretty exciting, bros. All right, Arcane Charmer. Okay, all right. She has a unique C skill, so she can't use um, uh, Guidance Four or whatever. Which might actually not be good, but we'll see what that does later. As an arcane weapon that heals allies after combat. Okay, her special and support. Okay. I can't read fast, so. Okay, the next unit has to be Ivy. If it's not, I will be very shocked. I wonder if Ivy would be like a special unit. Maybe? I have no idea. Oh, a tuned. Is Ivy an attuned unit? Wow. The Illusion Sisters are not going to be in the normal summon pool. God damn. Do not presume you are entitled to my friendship. Holy shit. Her art looks so good. That right. So be it. Whoa, what's that A skill? Oh my god. Can't even reveal the rest of it. Obsession. Deadly Miasma. Soaring Echo. Whoa, that sounds really good. Can sword or support partner? Okay, well, of course, I can't fucking read anything fast. Cool animation, as always. Medius getting butt blasted. Cool, cool. Let's see who the, uh, the, the uh, the GHB unit is gonna be. Let's see. All right, hopefully it shows in the trailer so I don't have to look it up because I'm a lazy piece of shit. It doesn't show. Is it gonna say here, Kagetsu is a four star? That's kind of insane how uh, no Fallb is in the four star special, three and four star uh, pool, that's really good. All right, two sparks, that's pretty obvious because two units are uh, in the non-permanent pool, so, okay, cool, cool, um, pretty, uh, pretty hype, honestly, great to see more engaged, love it, let's see who the, uh, GHB unit, it's Mavier, or Mavier, or something, however you pronounce it, Mavier, I think, all right, that's another one, the four hounds, okay, all right, pretty cool, wonder when they're gonna add Gris and, uh, Marnie down the line, uh, anyways, here we got, I'm actually, we don't, glad, or not glad, I'm actually surprised we didn't get, uh, Gold Mary, like, I thought Gold Mary was pretty popular, but, uh, maybe later, but yeah, we got the Goat Rosado, hell yeah, so it's obvious he was gonna be a green axe unit, I mean, like, the, uh, and yeah, the art's really good, actually really freaking good, I like how sassy he is, like, in the art, I actually really like that a lot. All right, let's take a look. This is gonna be a lot of reading, man. So let's do it, brothers. 
So we got Acts of Adoration. Except a special trigger cooldown and count minus one. At start of combat, if units HP is greater than equal to 25%, inflicts minus X to attack, speed, and defense on foe. And X equals 16 minus foe's maximum special cooldown count value times two for a minimum of eight. If foe is not equipped with a special, then X equals eight. Okay, all right. So if it's eight, that means it's gonna be, if it's, if it's five, Okay, so if it's four or more, it's gonna be eight. Anything else? Okay. So, um, all right, that's good. Punishes people who uses low cooldown specials, which I think is a pretty cool way to combat uh, those units. Uh, reduces damage from foes first attack by 40%, and then just anti-braving um, stuff, so that's pretty good. Uh, grant special cooldown charge plus one to unit per attack. That's really good as well, and reduce the damage or, and reduces the percentage of foes non-special reduce uh, damage by X percent skills by Y. Oh my god, why? If foes defense is greater than foes resistance at start of combat, Y equals 70. Otherwise, Y equals 30. Um, okay. I mean, I guess it's, that makes sense because if it has, if it's the other way around, then like, it's going to do a lot of damage anyways. For the most part. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then, uh, restores HP. Uh, 7 HP after combat. So, solid, uh, decent amounts of attack, speed, and defense debuffs. Um, up to 8. No, no, at the minimum of 8. And up to, um, it seems like it's gonna be at the minimum 14. So, that's actually a decent amount. Um, and then reducing damage. Um, and then... Having the blade effect, so that's pretty good as well. Overall, not a bad weapon. Not, like, super crazy or anything. But it is a very solid weapon, so I will say that. It's pretty good. Um, we get Earthwind Boost 3. If I'm being honest, I don't think these boost skills are really that good. I mean, they're... I don't understand how, like, they're much better than, like, guard skills. Or, not guard skills. Uh, but you know what I mean. The ones... The A skills that also apply guard. I forgot what they're called. Stand skills? It might be stance. Yeah, like the meter stance. Yeah, stance skills. I don't understand how they're like better than the, the stance skills. To be honest, they seem pretty bad. But I guess they're probably okay. So it's whatever. Uh, let's look at Wyvern Rift. So it inflicts attack and defense minus four on foe during combat. Uh, if units speed and defense are greater than foe's speed and defense, minus 10, and we're excluding phantom skills for some reason, I don't understand that, a unit deals plus X damage, uh, excluding when dam dealing damage with an area effect special and reduces uh, damage from foe's first attack by X during combat, X equals units defense at start of combat, minus 35, um, and then first, okay, there's another one that's like, Anti-brave effects, so that's pretty good. Um, man, brave attacks are really, like, losing a lot of stocks, man. You really want, like, a desperation effect at this point. Um, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Foe cannot make a follow-up attack. And increases the speed difference necessary for foe to make a follow-up attack by 20% during combat. Oh, that's... That's actually really interesting. You could just slap this on a really speedy unit and... It's done, though, man. They're not gonna be able to do any, like, follow-up. It's kind of insane. Um, wow, that's pretty, that is a very interesting skill. I mean, Wyvern Rider, I think it's called Wyvern Rider 3. It wasn't a bad skill, but it was definitely, like, aging, and it wasn't really good on a lot of units, only, like, really defensive units. But, yeah, I put this, slap this shit on, like, uh, I don't know, like, Ninja Cherche or Spring Maria, and it's gonna just be, like, no fucking damage. Pretty interesting, pretty good. Um, actually, probably really good on like Omni tanks. Probably that's my guess. Um, and yeah, so yeah, and here let me wrap my head around that. So unit deals X plus X damage and reduce damage for its first attack by X, and X equals unit's defense at start combat minus thirty five. <laughs> minus thirty five. Okay, I guess if you just stack a shit ton of damage, that's gonna be reducing a lot. Wait, oh, it's just a max of seven? Oh, fucking shit. Okay, never mind. Uh, I don't know about this. But I guess if you stack this with percent base damage reduction, it's not too bad. So, how do I feel about it? I guess it's okay, but I'm not too big on it. I guess the increasing the, sp the uh, speed threshold for doubles is pretty interesting. 
but apart from that, uh, it it might be good on like high defense, high speed people. But apart from that, I don't know if I'm super big on it. But it's pr I think Rosado is going to be using it really well for sure. All right, I think that's about that. And we're just going to embarrass this fallen Robin for some reason. Rearmed Robin. Kind of a weird matchup because Robin's not really a player phase unit, but uh, whatever. It is what it is, I suppose. All right, Kagetsu. Getsu, my next plus 10. Honestly, because I like Kagetsu a lot. He's an awesome character. Um, and Pedicle R did a great job with the art. Um, sword infantry, that's pretty obvious. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, so... Reversal Blade Plus. If unit initiates combat within two spaces of an ally, grants plus four to unit during combat, inflicts penalties on foes. Uh, stats during combat equals the total bonus on each of foes stats times two. I mean, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I mean, you still want to give it, uh, you still want to give him like Arcane Devourer for sure, but it's really not that bad because his fodder is really freaking good. Attack speed ideal three, which I predict is going to be a three star, a uh, four star skill, and no follow up three is probably going to be the five star skill. So. That in and of itself is really good, and no follow-up in 4-star pull. I did not expect to see that very soon. I was expecting it to just be like a Grail-specific uh, skill for a while, like on Lumera, and I think Pern has it as well. Um, and I know it's like the stonks of it has gone down a lot drastically, but it really does help with inheritance for like the physical or magic no follow. So honestly, Kagetsu, good, probably gonna have a good stat line. And good fodder, so overall very solid, and I am very excited for another plus 10 project on my book, so yeah. Pretty cool, pretty exciting. Versus enemies penalty, why am I even reading this? Its kit was not exactly the most, uh, insane. Alright, the next one is pretty interesting though. Our next rearmed unit, because we forgot ascended units exist in the game, I guess. Uh, here is Hortensia, who I think a lot of us saw her as the potential rearmed unit um, for stabs, just because they don't have one for stabs yet. So it's about fucking time. Um, the art seems pretty good, although her hair looks super saturated, um, maybe a little too purpley. But I'm also talking out of my ass. I don't really know much about art, but that's what it kind of makes me think of. All right, let's take a look. At Arcane Charmer, accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one, um, and then max cooldown count cannot be reduced below one. Restore seven HP to allies within three spaces of unit after the combat. Um, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than equal to 25%, grants everything plus five to unit during combat. A unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, grants special cooldown charge plus one to unit per attack, and deals plus seven damage during combat. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, that's kind of funny, just a plus 7 damage. Um, so it's not too bad. Um, the healing seems... I don't know, it seems okay, but I don't know if I'm, like, super big on it. To be honest, like, it's fine. Um, guarantee follow-up attack is pretty good. The plus 1, uh, cooldown count charge per attack is pretty good. It's pretty solid, but I- it's really not that good. Um, but it's definitely gonna be the new default, like... Uh, staff that um, units without preferred staffs are gonna want. Uh, too bad they can't find this and shit like Hall of Forms, but uh, yeah, this is probably the best thing now. No more uh, Palm Staff or whatever it's fucking called. That's, that was like the golden standard for a long time and it's, it's finally being power crept for, for like, what? It's been like four years or something like that. It's kind of insane, so rest in peace. Um, She's also got Rescue Plus, so that's really good. And then we got Glitter of Light, which I'm going to predict is actually a, uh, inher it's inheritable, but let's see what it says. Uh, if an assist skill is used, special cooldown count does not go down. Oh, okay, yeah. Special trigger, or when special triggers boost damage by 45% of foe's resistance. Okay, so kind of like, uh, a Glacies. Uh, effects are not too bad. If this special is triggered during combat, after combat, inflicts status on target and foes within two spa uh, spaces, target preventing counterattacks throughout their next action. So yeah, 
Um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty solid. So, I don't really have anything else to say about that. I feel like most units are going to want this because most staff units do have a pretty high resistance. So, wait, no, why, what am I talking about? Uh, uh, most people want it because staffs hit resistance. So, therefore, you, it would be nice to lower it. So, yeah, I mean, you know, solid skill. So, um, yeah, definitely want it on most of your staff units, I would say. Um, attack speed catch four, definitely. You want something better on her, but I guess it's fine for the most part. Poetic Justice, that's great on a rearm unit to give out to other people. Pretty good skill. Um, now let's look at Glittering Anima. Interesting, uh, name. At Star of Combat, if unit HP is greater than 25%, grants uh, attack speed plus 6, canto 1, and the following status to unit and allies within one, er, within three spaces of the unit for one turn, neutralizes penalties on unit during combat. Oh, that's it? Alright, anyways, at start of combat, if unit HP is greater than equal to 20%, inflicts speed and resistance minus 6, panic, discord, um, on closest foes, and any foes within 3 spaces of those foes through the next action. If unit is within 3 spaces of an ally, grants a plus 5 to attack and speed to unit, and neutralizes effects that inflicts special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. Okay, so where do we begin? So, she gets attack and speed, she gets Kanto. Um, and she also gives this, this next thing, both to her and her allies, initializes penalties on the unit, which could be a good or a bad thing, depending on if you're using a legendary Robin, um, which isn't, like, super common, but it's not super uncommon, um, and then, she inflicts speed and resistance penalties, panic, and discord, all of them are pretty decent for the most part, um, although panic could be turned... Be, you know, it could be a switcheroo if they have, like, a legendary Robin, so that's, um, that could be a hit or miss, and, uh, yeah, she also help, has some, um, in battle, like, supporting as well with the, uh, half of the tempo skill, defensive tempo, I would call that, and uh, attack speed, so, I don't know, this, is this better than Guidance 4? I would pause it to say no, it's not as good. I don't think so. But maybe sh instead of her being the transport unit in like a Fire Emblem team, um, you just make her like your debuffer, you know? Because that's like f two debuffs. And also she does give a, a, um, like a, a bonus of neutralizing penalties. So maybe not put, don't put her on like a legendary Robin team, but in most normal teams, that would, that's a pretty good, uh, bonus to have so I'm, I'm mixed on the C skill like no teleportation um although there is Valentine's Murr running around so maybe teleportation isn't as good as it used to be but um yeah I don't think it's super good but it's like not super bad it, she has a spot in Fire Emblem teams I'll, I'll say that for sure but you're still gonna want to have some sort of uh flyer guidance uh unit on the team but she's not gonna be the one but overall, yeah, not too bad, but I don't foresee her, like, really shaking up the meta, but it's cool to finally have the arcane staff. It's about fucking time. So, that is pretty cool. That is actually pretty nice. Has an arcane weapon that heals allies after combat. Her special, her support special gives her an edge in battle. Alright. Pretty great animation, though. All right, and then the next unit. Why do they have these characters? Why do they have Alfred and Diamond here for some reason? Why is there not a uh, Saline and maybe even Vale or something? I don't know. It's it's very strange selection of characters. Anyways, uh, the next character is an attuned unit. It's Ivy Snow Queen. Um. All right, so she is a blue tome flying unit, which is pretty good because flying units as attuned or rearmed units are really great for duplicating guidance and flyer uh, guidance skills, so that is extremely good. Um, man, I actually really like Ivy's art here. It looks really freaking good. Uh, Kakage did a really good job here. Um, okay. Oh my god, so much reading. So her weapon is Icebound Tome. Accelerate special trigger coordinate count minus one. If unit is on a team with unit support partner, unit can move to a space within two spaces of any support partner within three spaces of unit. All right, that's really freaking good. Um, if unit is not on a team with their support partner, as start of turn, 
Unit can move one extra space. Okay. So there is a silver lining. If you don't have your support partner or if they fucking die, you still get something. That's actually pretty good. Like, extra space is almost always good. Uh, unless there's, like, stall or something. But, yeah, besides from that, uh, if unit initiates combat or foe's range is equal to 2, grants every... Uh, plus X to everything the unit during combat, and X equals 25% of foe's attack at start of combat, minus 4 for maximum of, of 14, and a minimum of 5. Um, so what does that mean? So that means... Um... That means... It's up to, like, 72 attack, then you get the maximum. 72 and more is still gonna be 14, okay. So neutralize the effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit. Alright, so... Offensive tempo reduces damage from uh, attacks during combat by percentage equals to 20 plus number of spaces from start position to end position of whoever initiated combat maximum 5 times 10. Holy shit, so up to 70. Uh, wait, reduces damage, yeah, up to 70%, um, excluding area effects. And if unit uh, deals damage with follow-up attack, restore 7 HP to unit. Okay, um, so how do I feel about that? So she's got a lot of warping, so that's really good already. Um, what else? She's got warping, she, she could move up to another space if there is no warping, which in and of itself could be better, um, depending on the situation. Um, to get some stats... She, she has half tempo, she reduces uh, damage, and she got some healing. So overall, not a bad tome. Um, it's not like the craziest weapon in the world, but it's not bad. Uh, a lot of effects, I really like that a lot. Um, and then she's got a unique A skill called Obsession. Ooh. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, grants uh, plus 9 to unit during combat. A unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Foe cannot make a follow-up attack, and also when... Unit performs a follow-up attack, neutralizes, uh, reduced damage by X percent effects from foe's non-special skills. Okay, and that's only during our follow-up attack. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if that's actually good or not. I think I'd rather have that in the first hit. Probably? But, it, okay, it's fine, it's whatever. Uh, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than equal to 20%, and if decreasing the speed difference necessary to make a follow-up attack by 25 would allow unit to trigger a follow-up attack, trigger potent follow X. Oh my god, this shows up again uh, during combat. And then X will equal uh, either 80 um, or it's going to equal 40. And it says if foe cannot perform follow-up attack and attack twice. Wait, what? If foe cannot perform follow-up and attack twice. Oh, 80 otherwise it's 40 okay that's interesting so yeah if I'm seeing this correctly that means she gets three hits for the most part um but and yeah I still understand the follow-up thing it's always kind of confusing I think it's just uh okay yeah it's just a bigger like speed threshold i'm pretty sure um and yeah so it's pretty good i think obsession is, is really gonna make her pretty good um but yeah let's take a look at the rest of it, it like i'm still like reserving judgment on it uh she has ar far trace 4 that's pretty good um uh, deadly miasma which i have mixed feelings about but i guess since she can't um use the flames terrain anyways uh, might as well give her deadly miasma, so I guess that's not too bad. Now, here's the interesting thing. Soaring Echo. Infantry and flying allies within two spaces can move to a space within two spaces of unit. Holy shit. You could put this in the X slot. That is actually really insane. Like, I can't believe they made this into an attuned skill so soon. Like... I get, are they going to make Guidance one eventually as well? Like, that's insane. Like, now your C skill... Actually, this could be good for someone like Hortentia. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Hortentia can't because she has rearm. She has a unique uh, passive. Never mind. That might not work out. But for a lot of other units who have their C skill, like, used up, like, maybe even, like, um, like, Hinoka or something. Oh, wait, no, no, fuck. I keep forgetting that 
Uh, if you use your tune skill, you can't have your preferred skill. So that actually kind of sucks for some units. But for some others who... Oh wait, actually you can use this. You can have Soaring Echo and you can have Guidance. So you could do Infantry, Flying, and Armor units. Pretty smart. That might make them like the ultimate like mobility machine. Um, what else? Who? What's a f flying unit that wants to keep their C skill? Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, definitely a very interesting and nice echo skill to have. Um, and yeah, definitely gives a lot of value to uh, IV. Yeah, it's kind of insane that they put this on a echo skill. Pretty insane. Pretty cool. Pretty exciting. Um, yeah, definitely really big on Ivy. I think she's gonna be pretty good. I like how she has a lot of warping. Her tune skill, age, ally movement. You don't say. Yeah, she does attack three times, so that's really awesome. I don't remember her attacking multiple times very often in Engage. She's one of the slower units, to be honest. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of cool how they gave that to multiple units. Oh, wait, it might be because she has... The emblem Lin uh, ring, maybe. Still not totally sure on that. That might be the reason for that. Um, and yeah, so that about covers this banner reaction. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. It's, it's great to see more engaged units. Really happy about that. Um, Mavier is going to be the GHB unit, um, which is pretty cool as well. He's probably going to be a cavalry lance unit. So that's cool. Maybe we'll get the Flame Lance or maybe we'll get his own weapon. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, overall, seems pretty cool. Um, I'm not super big on Rosado, but I'm glad he's in the game. So I'm really happy about that. Kogetsu is really cool and really good. Uh, probably going to be a really great free-to-play like merge project. So really happy about that. And his fodder's really good. Uh, Hortensia, finally have Arcane uh, Staff. So that's really good. And Ivy... That echo skill is kind of insane. It's going to be really good on a lot of characters, I think. So, actually, might want to get a couple copies of her. Her and Hortensia, because they're going to be fodder duplicating machines. And it's going to be kind of amazing. So, yeah, that about covers uh, this. Let me know what you thought, up, the thought about this. Did you think we were going to get engaged again? Um, it, it has been a while since our last, like, normal engage banner. So, it was about time. Um... Or were you like thinking like, oh my god, what, it's engaged already? Like, why why didn't we get some other games like, like like Arcane or some shit? So yeah, let me know how you feel about the units and the game in the comments below. So yeah, uh, in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this banner reaction of the new Fire Emblem Engage banner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>